has the king and fellow Sam Orosin. This is another episode of Shovel Knight King of Cards. And in today's episode... And I said that subconsciously and I didn't fucked it up. Nice. I don't know which level to go. This one? Sure, why not? What's going on? What's with the blue? Oh, I can't jump while I'm on the blue. Well, what's with this fucking epic music? I guess this is this level's gimmick. There's a bunch of blue J's everywhere that I can't jump off of and I get stuck in. Destroying graves causes enemies. I mean, these fucking ghosts do appear. My last episode shit it all over these fucking ghosts because they're so annoying to fight. My problem with these ghosts is that they. Oh shit. Body. Fuck my life. Got fucked up, man. Got all confused. Didn't expect him to hit me from that. God damn you. Fucking goddamn son of a bitch. What was I talking about? Last episode we fought ghosts, and I learned that ghosts are a bitch. And I hope. And I'm glad that they're fucking dead. Because they're annoying as fuck to deal with. Don't know why I'm jumping all over the place. Why am I going backwards? Whoa. So fucking counterintuitive. I want to jump and pull off the jump correctly. But then I remember, oh wait, I can't fucking jump right now. That's right. That gets a bit confusing. Of course, it made ghosts appear. Yeah, I was talking about Witcher last episode, and oh, this looks like something I can destroy. An alternative path. Check it out, I found one. How do I bat? Oh, I see. How come when I. Oh, was this a mimic? It's like a mimic fox. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and after Geralt has a lovely talk with Snow White, Snow White informs him that they're gonna kill the mayor of Blavikin. That this is their plan, they're gonna fucking kill him. And she just informs him that, you know, you pick your side, you pick the lesser evil, which is something that Witcher often talks about. It's like how Geralt says, like, if I have to pick between two evils, I'd rather not choose at all, even if one of them is lesser. But this time he had to, because, you know, he had to choose between whether to help the mayor, you know, he is the guest of the mayor, so he kind of had to side with the mayor, even if he... Oh, for fuck's sake. Slip the fuck off of this fucking goddamn blue fucking jizz all over the fucking place. Piece of fucking goddamn filthy trash. This episode's been doing nothing but fucking pissing me off so far. I'm just up for this game. And fuck you. What an asshole. Guess there's no point in fighting that stupid raccoon now. Oh, it's right here. Guess it doesn't drop me cash, so fuck those guys. Where did I drop my cash? Oh, for fuck's sake, no! Should've fucking gone with the flow and fucking go forward. Yeah, I don't know, last episode I died a lot too. Oh, three goes, nice, very nice. The alternative path seems to be slightly tougher than the regular ones you can take. Or is it just me? Or do I just suck dick like unbelievably fucking bad today? Could be just me, I don't know. 
Oh, for fuck, no. Jesus fucking Christ, please. I know I could just jump on the red thing. There's like stuff over there to the right. Nice, I did it. I'm fucking horrible at this game, Jesus Christ. What are they talking about? Yeah, so after that... Now why is this locked up? I unlocked all the paths. Oh, maybe I have to go with the normal one still? Alright then. Oh god, there's a normal path to take too. Maybe I'll save up money for that fucking ability I can buy. I don't know what it is. I have an ability by the way, but it's mostly... I don't know, for emergencies? I have an ability where I can break down crying. Which restores some health. Damn these fucking frogs. Look, I get it, you get electric abilities, but I'm fucking shoulder bashing right into your fucking dumbass face. Die, please. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jesus Christ, that fucking skull almost fucked me up. It's all that shit. I'm back in this fucking godforsaken goddamn pit of nothing. No ghosts this time. Good, because I hate them. I think a fucking OP King Knight is. I imagine his costumes that you can unlock for him are exactly the fucking same as... ...as the costumes that you could unlock as Shovel Knight. There's probably a costume that makes you lose less money. There's probably a costume that makes you... ...deal more damage but also be a little less con... ...harder to control. Probably a costume that does nothing but makes you fun, like all golden and have funny animations. That was a costume you could unlock in the. That was risky. I wasn't sure if I was gonna pull that off. Now, okay. Yeah, so they end up... I don't think I actually finished the chapter, I think I fucking got close to it. But, you know, they're they're causing fucking chaos. Shit's going pretty badly. And I guess Geralt's gonna have to side with somebody, and I haven't actually finished reading that chapter, I just realized. I wonder if playing video games with lots of text made me better at reading. Probably. I imagine that the bit like for example the first episode of Yakuza. That's a game that has a lot of reading in it. And the like I don't know, episode of Yak like final episode of Yakuza 3. That's probably better at reading than at the beginning of my Yakuza Kiwami let's play. That Yakuza Kiwami let's play. Kind of interesting because I oh shit. I wasn't even that familiar with Yakuza at that time, I just kind of happened to have Yakuza Kiwami from free, uh, from PS Plus. And I was like, oh, this looks cool, I can check it out, I heard it's like GTA. And the first time I played it, I actually got my ass kicked, and I was like, I get stuck at Majima fight, with the baseball bat places. But I feel like I just did, first of all, I was like, not utilizing my moves properly, not, only, not to mention I wasn't fucking upgrading myself. I don't know why King Knight's getting all these fucking hard. Makes me not even pay attention to my fucking health. I'm like, yeah, I got health. And do I? Yeah, I do. Oh, Jesus. Stop fucking me up with these calls, you fucking goddamn sons of bitches. Hey, shit. And I made so much progress and then I fucking died. Like a bitch. I remember where I died.
died right over here. Oh, for fuck. I meant to bounce off of the fucking block, spin into the flames and just collect my money, not fucking fall into my death. Oh my god, fucking game. Why do I do so many fucking things I don't mean to fucking actually do? Oh, fuck you, I don't even care. Now this level I would definitely not replay no matter how much fucking money it gives me. Too annoying. Even if I did memorize patterns of every fucking enemy and every single obstacle I'm about to fucking run into. Fucking ghost fit me up so fucking badly. Oh, what the fuck? What is with this fucking place? I fucking was the fourth time I fucking fell into a pit. For fucking goddamn this fucking ghost. I fucking hate these levels. These fucking lichyard fucking team levels, motherfuckers. I hate them. I don't think I even got this pissed off at fucking Plague Knight. Who I said was fucking annoying and I'll probably get fucking mad. Why the fuck you do such a horrible fucking job? Ain't that my job? Doing less split? Why do I fucking suck at it so bad? Give me money. Give me the fucking last piece of money too. And now let's get the fuck out of here. Easy stuff. Just, you know, careful now. That so many times, like right at the fucking end. See how he's even carried out of levels on flying rats? You'd think flying rats would be his friend. What was this? Hold on. 12 minutes. What is this? Eerie Manor. I don't know why this fucking gem thing is locked. Dual it's grey, we could check out what that is, it's like a challenge little thing. Ah, uh, dual it's D. How oh, there's danger ahead, a magic most foul has bewitched my trusty dueling glove. Glove, I can not wear it. The glove simply falls through my hand, perhaps you've equipped it instead. Oh, I got an item. Triangle, let's make haste and shoulder bash, not. Last we meet our untimely demise. I get the feeling you already met your, um, never mind, see you shortly. It's another one of those tutorial levels. I get to bitch slap the fuck out of enemies. That's actually cool, so this is like a. This is like an attack where I don't fucking need to shoulder bash and fucking fly into my death. Like I often did, as you fucking saw in this episode. So why do I get these fucking... ...health options, like, non-stop? Not that I mind, I'm just like, why do I get them? Ah, oh, shit. Fell right through, I just wasn't expecting that to be fucking... ...false. I take everything at face value. See a platform I jump on, I don't fucking think about it. Like, oh, maybe it's not a real platform. I was kind of hoping to get about 6,000 gems this episode. I think that's how much my new upgrade costs. Purple skeleton. Pretty snazzy. I can bitch slap the fuck out of ghosts. That's the best ability I could have had. Shame I only now got it. Well, watch it. I done it. Fuck you, ghost friends. You survived the glittering awaits, and I'll be able to pursue the Justice Crown. It's fine. In fine spirits. That sounds like my own. Wait, what? How do you know about the glitter wing? Well, I'm the Justice Champion that chose that they kind of have the same voice going on. They're both Noble Knights. So I don't know what the fuck other voice for a Noble Knight you could come up with. 
And she's like, the Onion Knight kind of looks like him. How is Onion Knight? Because like a Winnie the Pooh kind of voice. I don't know how the fuck to do a Winnie the Pooh voice. And I aim to become King of Cars with the help of her crown. How curiously bizarre. Come with me, would you? Join me on this adventure of friendship. Making a bunch of friends. Epic. We're back on a ship. I didn't mean to go there, but whatever. My mom's here. Mother, what are you doing here? Sugar Plum, here you are. I grabbed one of your little rat ropes and suddenly it was... I was whisked up here. Your dear mother was just telling us all about the many virtues of King Primador. I love King Pri Pride more. He's pronouncing his name wrong, but who the fuck cares? I read in King's Weekly that he was really stickler for the rules. Mom, hush, you know. You're not disturbed. Not to disturb my quest? Stay out of my things? I don't know. Without rules, we can't be much of a ruler. Perhaps your mother's insight could help guide our quest. Oh, what a thrill, dear. Is to fly through the sky and perhaps even catch a glimpse of a king? This is nonsense. Who quash? Mother, say nothing to my servants. Alright. Epic. Check it out, I can cry. That's the ability I got. I can break down crying. Pretty cool. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.